And we turn now to Rebound Kansas City, and we are getting answers for you from those running unemployment systems. We know frustration is mounting for people in Kansas waiting on jobless benefits from trouble getting through on the phone to missing retroactive payments. Listen to what Governor Lori Kelly had to say about this. We're doing what we can with a very antiquated system as quickly as we can, and we will continue to work on it. We know it's important, uh, and, and we're not ignoring it at all. Uh, and I know people are frustrated. What other options are available for these people that money? There, there really are no other options than to work through this system. Uh, and so, you know, the... the um, it, and it's taking time. Uh, I will reassure those that have been frustrated by not being able to get in or not getting the checks that you know there will be uh, retrospective payments so that while we weren't able to get it to them in a timely fashion. Now we know that's not good enough of an answer for families waiting for financial help to make ends meet. Help promised by Congress and left up to the states to work it out. So 41 Action supporter Nick Starling pressed the state secretary of labor for answers on when people we've talked to will get their money. Many Kansans are frustrated as we're in the middle of week seven and some have yet to see any benefits or looking for back pay on those benefits. I spoke with Kansas Secretary of Labor Delia Garcia on your concerns and what you can expect. So we're doing what we can with the resources we can. But many Kansans we spoke with think the department can do more. Many of you had questions on receiving back pay on benefits at the state level and the additional $600 from the Federal CARES Act. I want people to know that yes, you will receive your um, back payments um, starting back from uh, March 30th, a week until now, and those are expected to all be done by this Friday. Others wanted us to ask about those who are sole proprietors or self-employed because so far they haven't received a benefit check yet. For people who are self-employed, when can they start to see some payments? Yes, so uh, the timeline that we shared last week was May 12th. Well, one, as what we can, an individual can do today is go ahead and go to our website at www.getkansasbenefits.gov and go ahead and file because once they are denied, that is the first step. We met Michael King last week. He was laid off last year and he cannot get any more unemployment since he's within his benefit year. Since my benefits ran out, there's nothing there. He can be able to uh, apply again and, and have, his, have that be extended. Uh, and then work with us in our office. Garcia says for people that are in that situation, they can file through the federal pandemic emergency unemployment compensation on May 22nd. And according to a timeline from the Kansas Department of Labor, it includes a May 25th date for anyone who applied for federal pandemic unemployment relief. Are you yeah. uh, confident you're able to stick that timeline for benefits? You know, I am confident. I will say what I'm not confident in is, is um, our antiquated system. Reporting in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.